our students need to understand that there is a strong spelling meaning connection in the derivational constancy stage of word study. Words that are related in meaning many times are related in spelling. And this is even though there are changes in sound. Shane Templeton, one of the authors of Words Their Way, tells us this. And he suggests we look at words like these. Define, definition, definite, and definitive. The suffixes change the way we pronounce the words, but it does not change the spelling of the base words. And this is something we can help our older students discover. And we can help our students look for meaning connections, even in words that don't seem to be related. And this can certainly be sold as a mystery to be solved. For example, how are cave and cavity related? And developing this inquisitiveness or curiosity about words can be infectious and celebrated math, science, social studies, and science classrooms can abound with word explorations that relate to com content. For example, lead students to discover the connection English has with the Latin word for break, fract. We might fracture our arms, or we can think about fractions. Orchestrate opportunities for students to discover the many English words that are based on the Greek root hydra. Oh, and remember that I before E except after C or is sounded as A as a neighbor and way rule? Well, this too has an explanation in meaning. Let's take a look at a few words like these. Receive, reception, perceive, perception, or even exclaim, exclamation. And when students become inquisitive about meaning, they can discover that when base words have an A-I or an E-I spelling, the derived word like reception, perception, or exclamation has simply an E. The I is left off. And this, again, is like a mystery to be solved. And remember, these spelling meaning connections are important as they help increase vocabulary. We certainly can't orchestrate learning opportunities for every single Greek and Latin root. But what we can do is encourage that sense of curiosity so students will constantly be on the lookout for meaning connections. Oh, and that leads me to a closing question. One of the most misspelled words in the English language is accommodate. Can you spell it? Now, there are ways to break up the word and teach it using prefixes and knowledge of Latin roots. How can this be done? Challenge. <laughs>